So, a lot of people have been asking me how I did the frozen time puzzle. So I decided to take a break from uh, all the other stuff from the code 1 and just jump right at the code 2 and tell you how I did the frozen time puzzle. Now, that will be uh, quite... Uh, it will take quite a long time to uh, to make a frozen mob or entity. So I decided to cut a little bit in the video so it will, won't be too boring. Uh, so that's why you're looking at a frozen video right now. Let's have a look at it. First you need to make these rails so you can put a mob in the minecart. If it's moving very fast then only then it will jump in the minecart. Now jump to MC Edit and select that chunk using this. Okay wait, uh, let's click it again. And now you will click Prune and Yes, so now you will delete all the other chunks, so make sure there's nothing special in there you want to use. The reason why I do it is so there's only one file here. I'll drag that into NBT Explorer and go to the entities, then there is one entity here. Go to the one it's writing and open the position. And we'll set the X and Z position, why it doesn't really matter, to a very high number. Doesn't matter how big it is, just don't get in that chunk it is, uh, it's is—it's got its position in. Now as you can see, the creeper isn't moving anymore and the minecart is gone, so that's pretty cool. You can still hit it though and it will move according to the client, but if you log back in, uh, it should be... Oh, no, it's not. So, well, that will uh, get back later. Let's... you can still edit some uh, some tags though using NBT edit. I'll set the motion to not a number. What this does it is uh, it prevents you from pushing the mob around and also so yeah that that's what you can do and actually I'll set the uh, I'll do that later. So now if you set the invulnerable tag to one you can't hit it either so I want to do that. And now let's let's play with the rotation. You can also change that, though you can't make it rotate really. You can only look it up or make it look up or down. You can't really make it rotate sideways, as you can see. We'll set it this to uh, 45, and no, it didn't move. You can, however, um, set this one to let's say uh, 20. Um, Oh look, there it is. <laughs> Told you it was gonna move. So let's set it. Let's make it look up. Why not? Let's set it to minus fifty. And there we go. It looks up. Now, if you want to do this in your world you're building in, and you don't want to remove all the chunks around it, then uh, what you can do is create a new world, just like I did just now and then find the coordinates in your original world, then go to those coordinates using F3 here, and let's say it's just about here, then you just, where you want to have that minecart, or a, a frozen mob, just put a minecart over here, and then just do the same thing I just did, and copy it using MC Edit, and then paste it in your original world, so it's there. You can also paste it on another location, but it'll automatically jump back to uh, the place where you built it. So yeah, that's a frozen mob. You can also freeze some other stuff, such as minecarts. But there's one problem. You can't make a minecart ride another minecart. Well, yes, we can. We use NBT Edit for that. Just create a spawner. And we'll create minecart rideable. Set this to one. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, set this to one so it's only spawning when I'm standing on top of it. Add a new tag compound. And now, if I stand on top of it, you can see it is spawning a minecart. Now, okay, let's change this as well. That's You don't really need to change this, but it's just handy, otherwise, you'll 
all oh, doesn't really matter. I'm doing it anyway. And set this to one. So now it's only spawning one entity when you're standing on top of it. Delete the spawn potentials and now, oh wait, we'll add a new tag and call it writing and we'll copy this, um, a new tag string ID is minecart writable so it is spawning a minecart that is spawning another minecart as you can see. So we can break this one and go back to MC Edit, select the chunk and then delete all the other chunks again now go to nbt explorer uh, change the well no not this position uh, we'll actually change the position of the minecart it is writing not the top one but you want to change the position of the bottom minecart set it to a very high number and now you will be seeing something very special this doesn't happen with the creeper, but it does with other entities. It is floating. And there's something else you can do. You can, uh, unlike with the creeper, you can set its rotation. But, and this is really cool if you ask me, you can also set this rotation to 180 and you have an upside down minecart. Now, you would say well, what can you do with an upside that is not useful well actually it is let's add this tag called um, custom display tile and set it to one so now it will automatically uh, add these tags display tile and if i set this to 86 it will start putting a pumpkin in there and you might see where this is going um, I'm gonna put it down a little bit and now I'm gonna use my editing skills okay wait, let's set it to 60 to wait it's here right now okay now I'm gonna use my editing skills so I can build a house really quick and as you can see now there is a pumpkin very bright um, and it's upside down so that's pretty cool you can make upside down blocks this is not how I did the, the upside down pressure plate though, that was just a regular minecart with the negative offset, so it's moving the pressure plate down in, uh, instead of up. So yeah, that's basically the stuff you can do. Uh, pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, you might be wondering why I use um, MC Edit, well that's because if you use nbt edit the mod you can change the position so that's why i use mc edit that's it for now uh i hope to see you in my next video